So over here, uh, where my cursor is, you see A1. And that refers to uh, the cell that we are currently in. This is called the name box. A1 means that we're in column A. So that's this column right here. And one means that we're in the first row, this row right here. As we go to different cells, you can see that the name box updates to tell us what cell we're currently in, also uh, indicated by an outline. Over here is the formula bar, which is really the engine of Excel. When you put a formula into a cell and hit return, then the cell will show you the output. The formula bar, on the other hand, will continue to show you what that formula actually is. Down here, you can see worksheets or tabs, terms that are used interchangeably. An Excel file, which is what we're in here, is called a workbook. And you typically start with one worksheet in a workbook, but you can add or delete uh, additional sheets. Uh, and if you don't want those additional sheets, you can certainly uh, remove them. After you add some worksheets, you can move back and forth between the worksheets in a workbook by hitting the option and the right arrow key. So if I hit option and right arrow key together or option left arrow key, I can easily navigate between sheets. As we noted, columns go across and are alphabetically numbered. So A, B, C, D, etc. And rows are the ones going down here and they are numerically numbered. One, two, three, all the way down to many thousands of rows. Once you're already in a workbook, you can manage that file by using the file tab on the menu up here. When you click that, you see you have a lot of options to managing that file, including saving the file, which you can do also with Command S, so holding Command S together. You can print the file uh, by clicking this or hitting Command P together as well as several other options, which you can see here. The ones here that I would commit to memory in terms of shortcuts are Control O, or sorry, Command O uh, for open, Command S for save, and Command P for print.